style, I'd say it's um, street tailoring um, based on Savile Row tradition, specific and specialised, but subversive and free. Flat front trousers, um, either with a boot cut or narrow tapered, interesting use of top stitch, often in unexpected places. Western influence point on the back of um, jackets, um, collars, or indeed on the back of the jacket itself. An interesting cuff detail, not buttons. Buttons are boring. Interesting label details on the insides of the jacket. Um, and they must contain an abused and punked up feel based more on a punk and glam rock musical heritage. Personally, my look is extremely fitted narrow and tight. Um, it must possess um, a sense of urgency and anxiety and anger as these are all very useful um, energies and currencies. It's actually uh, a very flamboyant style um, because it's so difficult to achieve technically. It's really an art form and for me tailoring and art are intrinsically linked. You have to make a work of art for people to wear. I'm different from other bespoke tailors um, in that each consultation with a new client involves a discussion involving an analysis of their personal heroes, film preferences uh, and musical tastes. Uh, personal association with clothing, I believe, is what gives the wearer most satisfaction. Part of my philosophy uh, would be in terms of, uh, you know, people who want to believe in what I do beyond uh, my um, sartorial um, um, passions or my ability to, to make them look good in a suit. I would like to think that the customer I attract um, may um, comply with one of the following statements. Um, they should always be ready to observe and question things. Be confident about who they are. Uh, have a sense of pride. Uh, be prepared to stand out. Um, to be an individual, speak your mind. Uh, take time to dress with an element of attitude without feeling uncomfortable with that attitude. Uh, take a, a, a small risk in how you dress. Very important never feel the necessity to be reassured by your peers. Uh, that is an absolutely golden rule. You've just got to bang your clobber on and out the fucking door. It doesn't matter what people think. I suppose my style was already deep-rooted in my brain. It had already been sort of born at the age of 14, 15, which it is essentially a subversive sort of fingers up you know, rules of the fools, do what you want, attitude. Um, so by anchoring it with this uh, classical training, it was just ready to go. My philosophy in one statement, you don't need permission for anything.